babies welcome back to my channel so i am coming to you babes with five tips to help with your mental health it has been so much going on in the world and america and philly within the people that i know like we're living in like really sad challenging trial and tribulation time like I don't know I'm, I'm about to be 32 like in my 31 years I, I don't think I've heard of this much like turmoil and pain and hurt so I haven't done a lot with my with mental health on my page as much as I have wanted to so I thought it would be time that I put out a video just five things that I do to cope now I am not a psychologist I am not a therapist I am not an ordained minister or anything like that so take it take what you can take I'm just trying to put out there what help what helps with me but before I get into this video babes make sure you subscribe I do try to post twice a week Monday and Thursdays with fashion beauty mental health lifestyle so tell somebody tell somebody tell somebody to subscribe to my channel thank y'all so much hit the like hit the comment and definitely hit the bell because I again I got two videos a week for y'all babes all right so it's not gonna be super long I wanted to just get out there again with five things that I do to keep my mental health on point because again we're living in some very trying times like before I get into I do have to share this like I was on Facebook and I was just scrolling through and I am a type of person that I don't I don't watch the news I did delete all of the apps that I felt that were triggering like in Philly a big one is no gun zone I love what he does but it was very triggering for me like I'm looking at it multiple times a day and I'm going through the comments like it's a lot it's a lot and it's about crime and people death and murder and robbery it's a lot so I did delete those type of things however I was on Facebook it was one post about someone that lost their battle to cancel can cancer and they were about 34 years old. It was a picture of the young man. And he was so vibrant, like, uh, so young. And the post was a repost of him saying, like, I'm fighting y'all, F cancer, blah, 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 blah. And I didn't know this young man, but it was just so just like, Jesus. And then it was another post about someone that I know. And he's like, the hardest thing that I ever had to do. And this is probably, he's about, probably in his 40s now, was tell my grandchildren that their father is no longer here. And unfortunately, this guy he's referencing was murdered. And that's his grandchildren's father. It's just like, for you to have to break that type of news. So I did dig a little deeper, just like, oh my gosh, who was this young man? And he actually was a part of a group called Brotherly Love, like a music group. And I'm just like, the irony there. Um, and then it was another post about someone else like passing on and it was just like Jesus like and that's just people that I literally I don't know the person that it's about but I know the person that's posting it it's like wow like we are going through so much and if you do watch the news because I do read articles so although I'm not on the news like watching it I read things we got the monkey pox out there COVID is running rampant it's like I'm fearful like so in I'm a lot so yeah I know people are like well I'm okay I'm gonna be okay like but this is a lot it's a lot to carry on a daily basis and that's just the, the icing on the cake of what other things that people are going on right there now with them now they're saying it's a recession so it's just like I felt um, inclined to come out with something like again five tips sorry I'm rambling on y'all if y'all want to y'all could just this I'm about to start I'm about to start the video so five things, and I know in particular order, but I guess th this would be the first one. Just get in tune with whoever you believe in. For me, it's God. Get in tune with yourself. Get in tune with the universe. Like, So that may be praying. That may be meditating. That may be just really talking to yourself or who's ever up there. Like, let, let's, <laughs> we got to walk through something real quick. So I actually do all of those. Like, I, I try to pray. And I don't just say, like, thank you, Lord, for this day. Like, I get into it. Like, thank you for my family circle not being broken because that gratitude is very important for the, the, the times that we live in. Like, sometimes you got to remind yourself what God has blessed you with. The things that is being taken away from others, you still have that. 
not i mean and it's sad to look at it that way but that's something to, to have gratitude for like oh my gosh like i woke up in a home i have food to feed my children i got a job that i can go to like i i woke up and i have health like all those things i think we just get so used to just you know it becomes the regular like of course i have somewhere to live but that's not the norm for other people so you have to like ground yourself and you're like you know what like i have so much to be grateful for and honestly if you just start your day with that even if it's not every day maybe once a day a week you have a different like perspective like yeah i may be going through a divorce or yeah i may be battling some health things but i have so much other things to be grateful for and that will turn your literally your mindset around like yeah this 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 is not going right because you know when you in that mood like you go you go at it like you know what like I, I i like hit my leg the other day and then i got fired and then like i really wanted turkey but they only had a beef and then like and it sounds like little things but that shit adds up so before you know it you're like so freaking um the word is escaping me, but you're so overwhelmed with all these little things that's not going right. You forget about the big things. Like, dang, like I woke up this morning. Like I'm out here breathing. Like that's something to be grateful for. So that is something like be grateful, pray to the Lord. Like God, thank you. And pray for the things that you are feeling, the fear that you're feeling. Even if it's about monkeypox, the fear about your family, if they're going to make it home tonight, the fear about the future. Be talk about it even if you may sound a little crazy because you, you you talk to yourself about it but meditate about it pray about it like god bring it to the bring it to bring it to the floor like this is what everything bring it to the table this is the things that i'm worried about and i have to hand this over i have to surrender this so those are the ways that i do it meditation praying and just basically just in my mind just thinking about all the things that like i'm feeling basically just trying to process it so that would be the one. That's a big one, but that would be my number one. Like my, I got to do it. The second thing I do is I journal. I do journal. I don't journal as much as I would like. I would like to journal every day. So I grew up journal, journaling. I was taught to journal. Um, so that is something that's like my, it's always in my back pocket. For me, it, it helps me just, to, and it's nothing big. Like you don't have to go in like, with a, a big prompt like this is what i'm going to write about and it has to be like this big essay and it has to be all the grammar has to be correct don't overthink it literally it's whatever you want it to be about so i'll get in there and be like you know what i felt real good today like I, my braid out came out real cute like you see it like that's something i will write about or it's like i'm not feeling too juicy today like maybe my boyfriend did something i really didn't like or I'm, I'm fearful like i'm fearful for my brothers i have three brothers in philadelphia like i'm really fearful about that so those are things that i write and that's another way to like put it on the table it's kind of like out your mind it's in your mind but it's a way to you to process it on paper i'm telling you like it may seem like what is that going to do by writing it it really like takes a load off but it really does like just try it I got this. This is uh, the journal that I'm using right now. I got this from the Five Point area in Atlanta. It says, trust your journey. And that is very important. Trust your trust the process. Trust the journey. So even if you can't do it every day, because I mean, look, life happens. We're busy. Try to do it a few times a week, especially at times when you're really feeling overwhelmed, when you're feeling like, I don't know what to do. I don't know how, to, how I'm going to handle whatever I'm trying to handle. Write about it. Even if you're brainstorming ideas, like, look, I can move this a bill around, I can do this, or you're trying to, you anything, write it down. If you're not a writer, for whatever reason, maybe do voice notes. Like, you get into your phone and just do, like, like talk about it, literally, and just, like, vo vocalize it. Or get in the mirror and just talk. Like, some type of way to, like, verbalize or in writing, like, how you feel, your expectations, processing your emotions it really 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 work babes all right another thing i do i do read um this is by sarah jake Rock, jakes roberts a uh, woman evolve sorry i have my camera the wrong way so it's not going to show the actual words but i'll tag it below and i'll have a picture somewhere this is the second novel that i have from her i really adore her like first thing we're the same age i connect to her story in a lot of different ways she is religious but she doesn't come off like a i'm better than you and you sent today tis tis like she doesn't come off like that she's very personable like i 
I love it. This book is really, really good. If you're not into like more of the religious thing or you're not really a reader, just try also do what I also do is get on YouTube and I look at her. She has a lot of conferences that she does. She does. If you're not really into her, there's so many on YouTube. You can find it. Like find your niche, like what, what sound you like. Um, what their the background do you connect with their background There's so many different people to choose choose from I gravitate towards her and her father um, It just like literally sometime I can get up in the morning and usually when I'm going to listen to it I'll listen to it before work before I start my day if I'm going to write about it I mean read about it. I usually read at night But literally I feel like the universe the Lord like it just pushes Whatever I need at that point to my path like seriously i'll get on youtube i'll be worried about something i'll get on youtube and literally i'll see the caption and it's like boom literally it'll change my whole like mood my perspective like you know what i'm gonna surrender it and god got me or sometimes i may not be going through something but i just need something positive and i'll go to these things and it's just like you know what i'm gonna pat myself on the shoulder because i got this or whatever whatever so those are those are really really good things to do because when when you're in that mood or what a depression whatever is going on you need to pump that positive that positivity good thoughts love grace patience gratitude you need to combat those negative feelings with something positive and the way to do that is praying writing listening and reading so watch what you're putting in your in your in your in your mind so if you're listening to f this f that i'm gonna kill you blah, 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 like all that negativity or the the, the no shade because i do listen to that type of music too i'm not gonna lie i'm a little i'm a i'm a little uh king von fan but when i'm going through stuff like that i can't listen to that because that's only feeding to the negativity that i already feel I don't listen, I don't watch um, like reality TV, but that's another thing. If it's all like catty and they're arguing and negativity and drama, that may be something that you really shouldn't be listening to because I mean, watching because again, and no shade against any of that, but it is probably feeding what you're already feeling, no matter what type of negativity it is. So just pay attention to that. Um, so I would say, so that is three things. And another thing that I do, I like to plan. So I just got my new um planner i love it this is from tj maxx and it says make time to dream this is 2022 2020 2023 i love to do that because it, i usually do it on sunday so i actually just did my for the month and for the week and it helps me just stay on track it helps me plan ahead so because a lot of the time i have a lot going on I have a lot going on in my life and it can be overwhelming. I can feel like I'm not going to be able to get it done. I feel self-conscious about certain things because I'm like, I'm not getting it done. Like I'm supposed to get it done and I'm not doing this. I'm not reaching goals. So in a way to help with that is this to plan ahead and have fun with it. So like this one in particular, um, it has like quotes on it, like really encouraging quotes and sorry, my lights, so you really can't see it, but then they have like stickers and the stickers are really encouraging um and i mean I'm, i like arts and crafts and stuff like that so i like all these little stickers and just have fun with it like and then also if you have something exciting coming up like i have some a gender reveal i have a bachelorette and a bridal shower to attend and plan i have a reception to so things like that like i love putting on the calendar because it makes me like oh i got something to look forward to but i still can stay in the now but kind of look forward to it so that will help your bills. I put my bills, like what bills are due, all the subscriptions that I should not even have that I got to skip the month on. Yeah, y'all ladies, y'all know what that is. Like the, the, the shoe dazzles and the Fenty Savage. Yeah, them. So I already have it on my calendar and I'll look at it every every morning. Like, okay, I know I got to skip the month. I know I got to do this. My Roby has practice, blah, 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 blah. So that's something that you can do just to kind of cope because for me, when I get overwhelmed, like I forget everything. Like I'm forgetting big things because it's just, I feel like some, everything is coming at me and I'm like fighting my way out of it. But it's ways you can combat that by doing everything I just said and having a planner. The planner can be your phone as well. So I do both. My planner is more detailed, but my phone has a lot of things as well because I'll forget. Life happens. So set yourself up for success. The last thing, I am still actively in therapy. 
I know some people is not with it, but I feel like it's getting a lot better, especially in the black community. Black community. Right now, I am doing bi-weekly sessions. I graduated from the weekly sessions, and I still encourage it. Like, it helps so much just to sit there and talk to somebody that is really kind of unbiased. They don't really know. Like, they're not like a friend or like a family member or like a boss. And get their perspective on things that you would never think that you'll be able to get. Like, you're, it just kind of is grounding for me. And a lot of times for me, my issue is I overthink. I'm really hard on myself. I don't give myself grace. I don't have patience with myself. So that's another person that's a professional that can remind me of those things. And I really do need it because it's things that my friends may not know about. My boyfriend may not know about. So it's like I need someone to bring me back in. Like, Maria, you're doing okay. It's okay. Okay. So yeah, and I can go on and on about therapy. I'll post in the description box um, what I, I picked up. So I don't think the planner in the journal is going to be online. So I probably won't have a link to that. But just look for them in TJ Maxx, Amazon, Marshalls, Burlington, they all Walmart, they all Target, they carry them. I will have the Sarah J Jakes Roberts book in there. It's really to targeted towards women. Please read it read it read it read it read it um but yeah those are the five things pray talk to the universe um journal make sure watch what you're listening and watch what you're reading make sure you're feeding yourself with positivity and the fourth thing plan plan ahead get yourself a planner use your phone or a, a physical planner or do both I, I honestly have to do both and then the fifth thing is therapy find yourself a therapist i'll try to have some therapy links that's more affordable um in the description box if i can find any but yes babes thank you thank you thank you for watching if you haven't already subscribed y'all stay afloat we're gonna make it out we're gonna make it out i am praying for all of you all I am encouraging you all that it's going to be all right. Have grace. Have patience. Try to use some of these things or find your own tips to help you cope with life. But life is not supposed to be just all negative, all trial and tribulations. We have to find our way to, I guess, nirvana, to some type of happiness. So thanks, y'all. Thanks for watching. Bye, babes.